so brain coherence. So just so now just brain coherence activate and notice. What do you notice? I feel pulsation. Yeah. In my brain. They are not just words. Brain coherence is actually, um, you know, when our, our brain don't always work in coherence. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> we are, um, the brain is not incoherent with itself. Brain is all over the map. So brain coherence, actually, the way I feel it is, um, you know, I I actually feel the it's it's like the brain part is like, um, it comes together. It becomes more orderly. That's how I feel it. Mm -hmm. And when our brain is is coherent, then we receive. Um, because our brain receives different mm, thought forms. Okay. Okay. So it's not so, just the mind; it's the brain that we gotta bring into coherence, and that will help the mind. Yeah. And then, okay. So second one is heart coherence. Activate. Feel that. I feel joy. <laughs> Great. Now, gut coherence, activate. Calming down. Okay. Brain, heart, and gut coherence activate. Brings more joy. Wow. Yeah, it's when, so you, your, your body is just energies. And most of the time, because we are, have been conditioned to be scattered, we you know. Mm -hmm. So gut, scattered, heart scattered, brain waves all scattered. And when we pull all of that together, when your your body like um is kind of the energy is working right in your body, you instantly have access to um, higher frequency. And you instantly, when you have access to higher frequency, you have access to more positive thought forms as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, so those are not just words. Mm -hmm. They actually, those words actually um, creates a condition or a, a state. Mm -hmm. It's it's very. <clears throat> What we're doing, we're actually working with the energy. Can we say body energy activate, or I guess anything? Um, <laughs> you can you can do that. So, but I, I would suggest that, like, 
do the brain coherence, heart coherence, gut coherence, and then do the three coherence, and then give it a name. So next time you just have to say body coherence. And it actually, your body knows that when you say body coherence, it means brain, heart, and gut coherence. That's really good. Thank you. Vinny, are we still recorded or not? We are still recording, but if you yeah. like to ask a question, not be recorded, I can just pause it. Yeah, I'll ask the question when we are not recorded. <laughs> okay, resuming recording. Okay, how how is you know body, heart, and brain coherence related to self sabotage? Is and I already mentioned, usually when you self-sabotage, when you sabotage yourself, is because there is disconnection. So you're disconnected from yourself, part of yourself. So when you start to do these, um, being with the body, connecting with your unique soul signature, when you start to get your um, brain, heart, and gut because the brain, the heart, and the gut actually all draw from different energies. Your gut is actually drawing from more of the earth part of it. So, and your heart is more your soul. The brain is more about thought patterns. So when you have all of these in coherence, then you start to connect yourself back together again. When you start to connect yourself back together again, then you would be able to actually, when you try to do something, um, all of these will start to, like any disagreements, you will start to become more aware of them so that you can resolve the difference. So you don't do, say you want to go left and say you want to go left, but you actually, your body is going right. So you don't do that anymore because it's because, you know, your body knows that, you know, from past experience, okay, it wants to go, go right, for example, but your soul, your mind is like, oh, okay, we have to do this. And there's no conversation between the two. So that's why you're sabotaging yourself. You're trying to, to go right, and then another part of you is tugging you to the left. So ended up you doing something that is going to sabotage yourself. So when you get everything lined up again to into coherence, then you don't have to sabotage yourself because all like your body, you would be able to listen to why your body object to something and then you will be able to listen to why your soul object to something so so then you would consciously be able to resolve all these difference all these differences so that you when you finally decide okay after hearing all the comments from the body comments from the the mind comments from the soul I decided to do X. Then you would be able to actually do the thing that you set out to do. Does that answer your question? So that's really how you resolve the, the self-sabotage program. So when you do coherence, body coherence, and you still feel sabot self sabotage. What you do, you send love to to the body, or you send love to your problem. What what would you do? How you ask the body or soul why you know why they cannot be in coherence? Um. So ask the question why they are not in coherence. Ask that question and then listen. 
and then wait for what comes up. For example, um, like recently, you know, I try to eat right. <clears throat> I try to eat food that supports my body. But then, um, so, so, so I was making some food with, you know, um, ingredients that I think I like or I, and, and it's also good for my body. <laughs> and then, so I don't know how come my body is not responding well with it. And then I start to get the, um, these videos attracting me. And I actually learned that, you know, actually some of the foods that I like to eat, pick for myself is actually very high in um, you know, starch. And it's, and because of that, it's actually messing up my body. I don't know that consciously. I didn't know that. So, um, but my body does know. And then when I asked a question, then these videos started to attract my attention that I wanted to go and, and look at them. So that can be one of the ways that, you know, when you ask a question, just be ready to get the answer. The answer may not be, you know, your body telling you what it is in so many words. It may be all of a sudden you feel the inkling that you want to go and, you know, look at certain videos or read certain um, websites or go talk to certain people that's going to give you that information. So ask that question. And then just um, let the universe give you, give you that answer and be open for that answer to come to you in different ways. Does that help? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so um, just to recap, because we are almost out of time now. So really connecting, connecting yourself back together is the, the best way to start to get out of self-sabotage. So because we are living in the physical world, so first thing is connect with your body. Just sit with your body. Just spend time with your body. Not, not saying you need to spend, you know, 30 minutes sitting with your body, doing nothing, um, you may not be able to do that. Just five minutes, two or three times a day. Or if you don't have five minutes, three minutes. Doesn't ha have to be fancy. You just, like I would add in, you know, getting brain, heart, and gut coherence. However, if you don't feel that, you know, that does anything for you, then just sit quietly with your body. Just when you do that, um, you send a signal to your body that you are ready to listen. Because how many of us just sit there and do nothing with the body? Not very often. So when you do that, it is really a, you send a message to your body that you're ready to listen. So do that. That is the first thing to start um, listening to the body, connecting with the body, and then connect with your with the body with the soul as well. So that the two, the, the physical and the non-physical part of you can come to more integration, more alignment with each other. And also what we've been doing in the, 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 the soul, all that releasing, all the karma and um, not mine kind of energy will definitely help because a lot of the times we have these culturally it could be or maybe just your family dynamics have these 
um, have us buy into certain beliefs that may not actually support our body nor our soul. So doing all of that release, working with the soul, refining and um, kind of clarifying the, the soul is going to help with, um, I would say, trying to shift the self-sabotage pattern because we're very good at sabotaging ourselves. We say we want something one way. Let's say I, I want to, you know, have a million dollars. But then once you know, part of me, yeah, a million dollars would be nice. I can live very well. And then a part of us, um, a, another part would be fear. Because there is some fear that uh, about, okay, if I have this money, is it going to be taken from me? You know, government, all of that. So those are just misalignments. When you start to clear all of those um, fear programs from your from from your soul energy part, then those like those energy those thoughts will not be as attractive for you. And especially if you start to do more of the aligning your mind, your brain, your heart, and your gut. It's like having your body kind of be more in alignment with your soul, your frequency will naturally be higher. And then you won't need to um, play these lower frequency name, um, games. So that's to more to come next week, but that's um, what I want to do with all of you this week is to really work on the connection part because we can clear programs till Sunday, you know, nine ways till Sunday. But if we are disconnected, then they're just going to come back in different forms. The so first thing is to connect with yourself, connect with your body and start to have that integration between all the parts of you so that you it's like when your body work together it, everything becomes easier okay so thank you everybody for thank you Vinny. With me. Thank, you. Thank, thank you thank you Vinny. thank you Vinny. big time thank you